Hi, in this Unity demo, we're going to add some physics and a push-off mechanic to our skier game object. You'll want to make sure that you have two different animations, a ski and a push animation. Remember that you can change your sample rate so that way it'll speed up or slow down the animations. In your animator, you should have two transitions between ski and pushing and make sure to add a parameter called pushing with a capital P. That'll be really important when we do scripting here in just a little while. And then for your one transition, pushing should be set to true, the other one set to false. Make sure that you have an animator and two animations ready to go. You'll also want to add the rigid body 2D component to your ski or game object if you haven't already. We'll leave most of the settings the same, but make sure to freeze the rotation on the Z axis. Lastly, make sure the controller is set to skier in the animator component. We'll need to make sure, first of all, that player controls matches our script file. Also, we're going to be adding a lot of variables and classes to our script. The first one we're going to add is a public float variable called push speed. And I'm using camel case here. And we're going to set that to 0f. Remember, all float variables must end with an f after the value. We're also going to set up a private Boolean variable called pushing. And this is going to control the state of the skier game object, whether they're pushing off or not. And then we're going to set this to false to start. We're also going to add a public variable for animator. And we're going to tie that to the Unity API class animator. I'm going to put all of the class variables down below. And we want to make sure that the animator one is public so that we can access that in our Unity inspector window. If you'll recall, our player control script is based on our Yeti script. And we originally used something different for our Y input variable. Uh, it was more to get the axis and control whether or not the Yeti could move up or down on the slope. We're going to remove all of that now for our player control script. And we're going to set that Y input value to push speed. So whatever that float variable value is going to be, that's what we're going to use for Y input. Now, when the player pushes down on the down arrow or a down uh, direction on a joystick or a D-pad on their game controller, whatever input device they're using, we want that skier game object to show that they're pushing off. We want that push off game mechanic to take place and the game object, the skier, is going to increase in speed. So first thing we need to do is detect whether or not the player is pushing the down arrow, down joystick, or the down uh, button on their D-pad, whatever input device they're using. And then we'll add some if-else statements as well. Using our pushing Boolean variable, which is a true or false state, we're going to check and see whether or not the up or down buttons or up or down on a joystick are true and if the player is pushing those. So we're going to take input.getAccess on the vertical axis. So that's up and down. We're going to see if that is less than zero. If they're pushing up, then it's going to be one. If they're pushing down, it's going to be negative one. And if they're not pushing either, it'll be zero. So we want to check to see if it's less than zero. Is it negative one? And if that's true, we're going to do something. In our first if-else statement, if pushing is true, let's change the push speed value to negative 15 F. It's a float variable, so we need the F and negative because we're going down the slope. We're going down the screen. If it's not true, then else we want to add another if statement. And this is basically because we could say, if it's not true, change that push speed back to zero right away. But we don't want to do that. We want to add some friction in there and incrementally slow it down. So if push speed is less than zero F, let's say it's negative 15, then let's add 0.1 to it every time the update loop goes through. And that'll get us all the way back up to zero eventually. Once it does get to zero or it's more than zero, we want that push speed to just equal zero, okay? So it's gonna continually, gradually get back to that zero and show that there's like some friction there. We also need to add our animation piece. So the animator Unity API class, we're gonna access that using our animator variable. And this is going to set that Boolean in our parameters for our animator, the pushing parameter. We're gonna set that to true if pushing Boolean is true within our script itself. Now finish up your code and test this out in your Unity project. 